Um, it could be like Paranormal Activity and with that stilted segue we'll go on to my film review first ever film review of a series now I've only these six of them apparently so you're reviewing a whole series yeah I'll, I'll yeah. condense it Paranormal down Paranormal Activity Paranormal Activity 1 Paranormal Activity yeah. 2 3 4 I haven't seen 4 onwards so. well I've only seen 1 yeah. and I remember going what do you reckon um, back in the day when I was at school and we were saying, should we go see it tonight, proper? And now, I'm a bit of a pussy anyway. Yeah, I know you are. You, <laughs> you time, won't watch a like razor like head. A full blown pussy. Um, <laughs> As opposed to a medium blown pussy. <laughs> Fuck's sake. So I'm shitting it all day, but we're saying, yeah, we'll go a few of us. And you're like, you have that gang mentality. Like, it doesn't matter. Be a laugh because we're your mates. And to be fair, it's bot. And the funniest scream. part when why jumped in a massive fart. Like a really tense part. <laughs> Half of the audience... We like laughing, and half of the audience was scared. I wasn't that scared until I went to bed that night, and oh, I was a bit scared. Which ending um, did you see? Where he gets thrown into the camera? Yeah. Spoilers. Yeah, that one. Yeah. Do you know whose idea that was? Um, Kevin James. Steven Spielberg. Really? Yeah, Steven Spielberg's idea. Was he involved? I didn't know he was involved. No, he wasn't. Um, so, Oren Pelly. Is it Oren Pelly? Oh, yeah. Yeah, directed yeah. the first film yeah in his research he stated that he researched demonology extensively because he wanted to be as truthful as he could be ok he could be right I, I don't know enough about demonology so yeah he obviously did the festival circuit with yeah. the ending where the guy there the husband how many different endings there's like three or four yeah. there's one where someone gets slit yeah so the husband gets a throat slit his throat slit on camera yeah there's one where it's very similar to the theatrical right what the, this is the main festival release ending where the woman screams just like yeah. normal guy runs down she comes back up and she's rocking with a knife yeah implying that she killed her. I kind of like that ending cause yeah it's not like a quiet and then it's like fucking mm. yeah, hurricane yeah, yeah. and noise yeah. um, and then obviously the theatrical ending and I think there's a suicide in there somewhere, but right. Steven Spielberg said, go with a guy getting thrown into a... Right. Yeah. So. Nice one, Steve. To be fair, I did enjoy the first one. It was like what a horror movie should be, so it was like thrilling to watch. You want bored. You mm. are on edge watching it. And Steven Spielberg, I think, is a bit like you because he couldn't finish watching the film. Yeah. He's a little pussy all. Thinking back, it is a bit scary, isn't it? No. No, it's, it's not scary idea, it's it? jumpy it's, it's the a idea. difference and a good horror that's what it does it creates the idea rather than what's happening remembering well I think it's I, more of a fear of what you're not seeing it's a fear of what might happen the marketing of the between the 2007 festival release yeah. and the 2009 the, theatrical release there's big marketing thing oh this is real and it's found footage mm. and yeah, every well, horror film Blair Witch marketing mm. package which worked back in Absolutely 2001 pumps or this like um, I think the marketing as good as it can be I think it's the biggest amount from the least amount of money made to the highest amount mm. the least amount yeah, it took yeah. to make very it. low budget film I think it made like nine figures so you know it was a success hence why six fucking films later do you think it came at a time where horror was a bit shit like you had stuff like Saw and a lot of... It was entering like a god A different sort of horror. It was going from like a self-referential yeah. scream, which rebooted when it was like... So slasher films were dying out. Yeah, in the, in yeah the that's it. Slasher scream, films. scary movie turned yeah. up. And then you've got, obviously, parodies of like fucking yeah. Alien, yeah. Jason yeah. and yeah. all that. Uh, Freddy. Um and then you've got Hostel and Saw, and it's mm. like gore horror. In your face. Yeah. Yeah. And then Big I think I prefer gore horror to this shit. Yeah. Because every fucking horror film from 2009 seems to be found footage. Oh, yeah. It's and the beauty of the whole it, movement. No the doubt. beauty of the found footage that it was like once every 10 years. So you get horror, Cannibal Holocaust in mm. 1980. Yeah. Blair Witch, yeah. where people genuinely think, oh, shit, this Someone's is... Someone's died. Yeah, and then this, and then it's just like fucking insidious is yeah, somehow a found did footage. Spawn everything. Conjuring. What's that other fucking yeah, yeah. one with the Annabelle? 
That's one of them. Is isn't it? the country in Annabelle? I don't keep up with. Is Annabelle anymore. part of country? I don't know. Oh fuck knows, man. Um, there's the one where it's like really old film, and there's like hanging in the woods. I can't fucking remember oh, right. what it's called. I don't know. It's shit. Um, but these are all fan footage. But all kickstarted by Paranormal Activity. Like yeah, the main boom. Yeah. So the plot of the first film: two people in a quiet house, and spooky things happen quietly and slowly. Second one, two people and a dog in a house and spooky things happen quietly and slowly and, oh, we've got multiple cameras now <laughs> and a dog dies. <laughs> Woo. Third one, oh, we're going back in time with the yeah. same family. And, oh, look, we've got an oscillating... This is when I stopped paying attention, <laughs> We've got an oscillating camera. Yeah. And number four, the marked ones and Ghost Dimension can go fuck itself. Because <laughs> Ghost Dimension was number five. The marked right, ones was right. some sort of spin-off. Yeah, I... Stopped paying attention, like I say, when I went back in time. And then I just didn't even know it was still going. They all that. do that. They've all done... They all, all the found footage films that rip yeah, off this yeah. have all ripped off the, oh, let's go back 20 fucking years and look at the dars. Didn't, the Cundrin did that, didn't it? Went yeah. back. Annabelle creation. Yeah, Annabelle creation. Yeah, well. yeah fucking... Yeah, well, so well, I guess it's a cycle of... Tomato meter, what do you think the first one got? There's a fucking mm, very... 62... 83. Yeah, well, there you go. Yeah, it was a big hit. Uh, number it two. It was effective. Number two dropped significantly to 58. Yeah. Climbed back up to 69% for the third one, which. Fuck right. This was when I stopped watching. Four was 24%, then mm. 37% for the marked ones, probably because it's somewhat a bit different. Yeah, maybe. And the ghost dimension was 14%. Wow. Hence why they haven't made a third, uh, a seventh one. Yeah, we don't really need to do that. No, the main actors were paid £500, $500 yeah. each. Filming was done in 10 days. And um, I think the first film, as a piece of standalone cinema, without the gluttony of fucking found footage films before, after yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. And right. without the sequels, is a good film. I mean, it's it's got its spooky moments. I mean, I don't. Th- I'm not a big fan. I don't think it's. I'm not saying oh, I'm mad because I wasn't scared. It's no, a bit no, scary, no. but like it's all very quiet and then someone jumps. Yeah, and that's not for yeah. me. That's not horror. Horror that's is being it. It's that, it, but it's that um, suspense that people mm. don't like. You know, what's scarier. What one hour photo? With yeah, that's, that's a creepy film. Yeah, I, Annihilation. Yeah, is scary. it? Scary. Annihilation's fucking good horror for See, like, horror that's film. the thing. People find Alien scary, but I've never found that scary. Maybe the first one in parts, but again, well, that's because Well, Alien's in the horror film, is it? So no, Alien film. is, though, isn't it? Oh, yeah, Alien is. Alien, Alien 3, I don't know what the fuck film. Alien 3 is. Alien Cubed. Uh, do you want to hear Brit's cubed. review? Of Paranormal Activity. Yeah. Go on. I don't know which one I watched. I haven't got a review because it was shite. So, right. I think it was, she said... In the past, it was a stellar review. Well, I think it sums it up. Yeah, like I say, at the time, I think it was. Uh, it's sort of a timepiece movie. I don't it? even think it was groundbreaking. It's for a the time. time it wasn't groundbreaking, but it was. Uh, like I say, a timepiece. Because if you wanted to get people to believe that it was properly real, Cannibal Holocaust did that twenty nine years yeah. ago when the guy who directed it got put on trial. Yeah. So I don't. Yeah, I don't like when people use that as a ploy. It's come. Yeah, it's there's another thing that branched out of this. Oh, so you got three branches. Found footage, this movie's real. Yeah. And then fucking ghosts and shit ghosts. you can't see, so we don't yeah. have to pay any money. Um, fuck. Yeah, it. saves you a lot of money if it's ghosts. Pissed me off. But unless you're doing Casper, like. Well, yeah. Yeah, because there's a scene in Paranormal Activity where they just. <laughs> Chicken feet in the fucking yeah, talcum yeah. powder, and I was like, "Fuck this!" Oh. Yeah, ghost chicken. <laughs> yeah, I shouldn't have eaten me. But then again, I watched this on my laptop. I didn't watch it in the cinema. See, it was a good cinema film. Second and the third one, there. I got dragged to it on successive cinema, yeah. on ah, successive yeah. Halloweens. Halloween release, classic. But it's like, what is that fucking film with Daniel Radcliffe in? Woman in Black. Woman in Black. I went to see that. It's twelve A. Yeah. That Scary. was fucking shit. You know what was the oh, worst right. bit about it? It got released on half term, so all yeah. the 13 year olds thought, oh, I'm oh, going to be yeah, big and hard, yeah. and they were all screaming Woman and shit. Bro. Yeah. Oh, except to a Victorian so, film. Oh, and right. you get, oh, yeah, <laughs> oh, nothing happens. Oh, Perry well. drama about a dead lady. All right. So. There's like one spooky moment in that. Yeah, I've not seen it. Um, but yeah, there's 
people screaming at non scary moments was scarier than made me jump more. That's it, stuff. and that's the whole thing in it. But I guess that comes down to what you can't. Can you judge a horror film on is it scary enough? Because people are scared by different things. Poltergeist. I obviously the most famous 80s. horror movies are probably just because they're genuinely made well, like The Exorcist. Well, I don't think they are. I don't think like Nightmare on Elm Street. I don't think it's made well, but it's a it's a good film. Yeah, it's a good it's, it's a, a good, good horror film. film. Nah, it's a, that's a well made film. Oh, it's you not like some of the cinematography and that's like iconic, like the hand coming out of a bat. Yeah, that's probably a bad example. Like. Just and like, at the um, end as well when it comes through with our fucking hell. Child's Play 1. Yeah. Yeah, that's cheesy, isn't it? Yeah, I'm, you're a bigger horror fan than me. Child's so Play I'm, 2. I'm not like an expert on it. But. <laughs> no, but I, I'm more thinking of um, Straw Dogs. Not even Straw Dogs, like Last House on the Left, the yeah. original. Yeah, they're yeah, not yeah. very well made films. Mm. And they're just... Like your B-movies. Is it a yeah. B-movie? Video Last House on the Yeah, Video Nasty. It got um, banned.